Yes. It's Robert. I wondered if I was ever going to hear from you again. Where are you now? In Santa Barbara. Miss Hunt with you? Yes. Castillo? Out of the way. So I was told. But I want to hear it from you. Is the man dead? Yes. Good. Unfortunately, we have another problem facing us. I need to see you immediately. Well, fine. There's something I need to discuss with you as well. Scott, how's he doing? I'm doing fine. I asked the doctor. The doctor's also doing fine. Would you please let him talk? <laughs> Well, the bullet didn't do any serious damage, and I don't see any sign of an infection, so I'm pretty pleased with his progress. I told you. You were intolerable. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine, see? Did you get any sleep? Not much. Dropped him off, complaining, old fool. <laughs> Fed the kids some breakfast, came back here. Yeah, well, I'm hoping to have the opportunity to feed my son some breakfast every now and then. Heather had her baby? Yeah. It was a boy? Did. Yeah, yeah, it's a boy. A little premature, but very healthy. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. What'd you name him? Michael. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, we like it. She's going to be taking the baby out of the hospital in a little while. I'll tell you, said hello. Okay, well, and make sure you tell Cruz, okay? Yeah, well. I'll check on you later. I'll be out of here by later. <laughs> you know, if you just relax a couple of hours, it'll be mm. good. I had Kelly go over and tell Carmen what happened. Nothing happened. You heard the doctor. Kelly is bringing Carmen anyway. That's good. I'm glad. Any word on Cruz? No, nothing. That's why I haven't been able to sleep. I've been wondering whether I should go to the police or not. And tell them what? That Robert is holding Cruz prisoner. But look what happened to you. I'm all right. Please. Raphael, you could easily be dead and you know it. And if I'm not careful, I can make sure that Cruz is killed. If they haven't already. Well, I got Castillo locked up in one of the storage rooms. Why did you shoot his father? It was an accident. You better hope he's all right. I'm leaving. Tanel wants to talk to me about something. Be careful what you say about Castillo. All right? I mean, if he finds out that I didn't kill him, I'm not going to tell him anything. Now, you just make sure nothing happens to Castillo. Don't let your guard down. I don't want him getting loose before I'm ready to let him go. Well, at least tell me this. Once we let Castillo go, what's to stop him from turning around and arresting us for kidnapping? Once he knows the truth, he's not going to arrest us for anything. Robert, you're putting a lot on the line here. I hope Eden's worth it. So, did Robert Barr threaten to kill Cruz? No. He says he's protecting him. From whom? I don't know. Do you believe him? How could I trust him? I mean, how could I? He said for me to wait, though, until... Till what? Until he can straighten things out. What does that mean? I don't know. But he told me that if I did anything, that Cruz would suffer, and if that means going to the police, then I can't do that. What about Rick and Carmen? Do you think they'll go along with your decision? Do you? Well, you were the one who talked to Barr. Cruz is your husband. I know that you'd give up your life for him to protect him. I'll go along with whatever you decide. Then maybe we should tell the family he's working on a case. All right. I think we should be able to uh, make him believe that for a while. And besides, I don't want... I don't want Carmen to worry about this. Thank you, Raphael. <laughs> That's good. Listen, I just want you to know that I'm not going to leave this alone, all right? No. No, 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 no. Just hear me out. <sighs> The last person that Cruz spoke to was Raul's father, Manuel. I'm certain that that man told Cruz something that Barr doesn't want known. If that's true, then why would Robert ever let Cruz go? Because maybe we can force Barr to release Cruz. How? Simple. Now go back to Sirenas, get the same information that Cruz got, and uh. then we will threaten the hell out of Robert Barr. Ow! Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh. Rafael! What have you done to yourself? Oh, God. How serious is it? <laughs> There's uh, no need to call the priest just yet. Thank you for coming. Well, you would say that on your deathbed. <laughs> Where's the doctor? Well, I can go find him, but he told me that Raphael is great. I told you, you see? Where's Cruz, Eden? I thought he'd be here with his father. Uh, 
Well, you see, I didn't want him around. It's just a little scratch anyway. He's working on a very important case right now. And besides, Carmen, why don't you take his place? You know what I was thinking? That maybe this happened so that you and I could uh, maybe get a little closer together, huh? I'm here. Don't push it. Thanks for bringing Carmen. Well, now that she's here, why don't you go home and get some rest? No, I can't. Where's Daddy? He's out of town. Where? I'm not sure. Well, somebody must know where he is. I don't think so. He's been very secretive, Eden. I think he's gone to find Mason. Mason? Well, then Julia must know where he is. No, Julia doesn't know anything more than I know. I take it you haven't read the paper this morning. Daddy and Mason have left Julia with quite a heavy load. Sure he's not here yet? No, his car wasn't in the lot, but I, he'll be here in a few minutes. What makes you think he knows anything about Julia? When I asked Mama if she knew anything, she said she didn't. And you think she's holding back on you? I don't know, but she kept bringing the conversation back to this place, and she kept asking me all these questions about Mac Blake, and I know he does know Julia from here. You know, the other night, he gave her a ride home, and he came back, and he, he looked like he'd been in a fight or something. You don't suppose that I don't know, but I think it is a good idea that we're here to talk to him. Yeah, I just hope he hope he shows up. I'm gonna go talk to you, Rick. Hi. I was um I was looking for you this morning. I was looking for you last night. I'm serious, Rick. Do you think I'm not? Your father's in the hospital. What? He, uh -huh. uh, he's okay. He was shot. Shot? What yeah. the hell are you doing? Your, your, mom, your, your mama is there with him. And he's going to be fine. Dr. Clark said the bullet only grazed him. Who the hell shot him? Why don't you go and talk to him? Kelly, I know he went down with Cece to look for your sister and Cruz. Did someone shoot him because of that? Rick, please, I just think you should go talk to him. Yeah, don't worry. I will. Cruz. He's not here. It's it's me. Where is he? He's uh working on a case. Eden. Julia, I didn't I didn't want to tell anybody, but Robert's holding him prisoner. Oh, for crying out loud. Didn't you call the police? I can't. I can't do anything. I can't risk it. This whole thing is so out of control. I don't believe it. I thought all along that Robert Barr was responsible for Mason's disappearance, but I kept saying to myself, no, this is just business. It's been out of control from the beginning, Julia. Do you know about the disc? Only what Kelly told me. They killed Bunny over a stupid piece of salt. How did they get all this phony evidence on you, Julia? Tonell, when he wants something, he will get it. Wait, Tonell? He's the man behind this whole thing. He's the man that masterminded everything and who's pulling Barr's strings. Maybe that's what Robert was talking about. Robert Barr talked to Tonell? Well, no, he was saying that he was trying to protect Cruz from somebody. Don't trust him. No, no don't trust no, him. No, I don't. I says. don't. Where's your child? Where's Samantha? She's asleep. She's all right, you know. Uh, she thinks this is all a game, so that's fine. Max taking really good care of her, and he's taking care of. Her. I'm scared. Hey, so am I. Listen, Nick, we need to talk about this. If you tell me everything you know, maybe we can do something about this. I certainly hope so. Why don't you just tell me everything you know about Tanel? I'm glad you're safe. I was concerned when I heard about that storm in Saranus. But I knew you were a survivor. You did, huh? Oh, yes. I could see that in you years ago, the first time you stood up to me. Yeah, I got a bullet wound that still aches now and then from standing up to you. You never forget anything, do you, Robert? Surely I made that up to you. I helped you become one of the most powerful men in America. To our partnership. Why did you order Hunt to kill Castillo without consulting me? 
You know how I feel about people questioning my orders, Robert. But because it's you, I'll make an exception. After all, my only goal in eliminating Castile was to protect you. I assumed you didn't want to spend the rest of your life back in San Sebastian prison. Castile was my decision to make, not yours. We both know that you've been incapable of making an objective decision lately because of one woman. I took that action because I wanted to save our partnership and protect everything we built. Drink with me, Robert. To our future. If you don't stop making unilateral decisions, our partnership is dead. There won't be any power coming from anywhere. Have you ever known me as a man who responds well to threats? This isn't a threat. I can do it. I can stop you. And you know it. I'm sure you already know that. Of course I do. We always knew you had a partner. But I guess we really know for sure now, don't we? What are you doing here, Eden? I've come to strike a bargain with Mr. Tunnell. I'm always interested in what a beautiful woman has to say. Well, you're a partner too, so you might as well stay. Do you have what I want? Not yet, but I can get it. Get what? Please, let Mrs. Castillo speak. I guess I really need to know how important this particular item is to you. You already know the answer to that question, or you wouldn't be here. I don't give a damn about your disc. I just want my husband back. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, Mrs. Castillo. I have no knowledge of your husband's We're whereabouts. We're going to do business. At least we can be honest with each other, Mr. Tunnell. I'm sure you know that Robert is holding my husband prisoner. If that were to be the case, what is your proposal? Well, I know you've already agreed to drop the murder charges on Julia Wainwright. If your disc is returned, well, there's an addendum, Mr. Tunnell. You must also return my husband. Obviously spoken to Julia Capwell. She was overwrought when she came to see me about the charges being brought against her. I merely promised to use my influence in Nevada to help clear up the matter if I could. As far as your husband is concerned, uh, the charges brought against Mr. Barr that he is holding him prisoner are groundless. Why don't you ask him? I have too much respect for Mr. Barr. What to about my husband? Did you have respect for him? Did your hired gun have any respect when he shot my father-in-law? I'm not going to make threats to you, Mr. Tunnell. I want my husband back. He is the most important person in my life, and I want him back. I don't want anything to happen to him, and if anything does, I'll make sure whoever is responsible pays. As a favor, I shall look into the matter, but I hope you won't expect too much. Well, I have what you want, and you obviously have what I want. So I hope I'll be hearing from you. <clears throat> An answer, Robert. Are you holding Castillo prisoner? Of course not. It's obvious that this woman has not concocted this thing up in her mind. Look, I told her her husband was being held prisoner so she wouldn't go to the police and start a full-scale murder investigation. Castillo is dead. Hunt told you he killed him, didn't he? Good. Now, what the hell is on this disc? What are you doing? I'm leaving. The doctor said the that you... The doctor had... said that the bullet hardly touched me. Don't you remember? Well, if you're going home, then I'm going to be the I'm one to take I'm not going you. home. I'm going back to Sirena. No. You are not going to do that. I don't want to argue about this, Eden. Do you understand? I've made up my mind. And I also have a plan. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Raul's father, Manuel. He is our last hope and chance for Cruz. We might not even need the information now, Rafael. I'm going. Nurse Fox, report to recovery. Nurse Fox, 
What are you doing here? I'm trying to talk some sense into you. Let me go. You know what you've accomplished by talking to Tanel? If he wants his disc, he'll have to make you let Cruz go. Who do you think I'm trying to protect Cruz from? Protect him? You kidnapped him. You could have killed him for all I know. He's alive. Why should I believe you? Put Castillo on. Cruz? Are you all right? Where are you? Me? Why are you doing this to me? If you want to make sure the crew stays alive, there's one thing you can do. Remember what happened the night Raul was killed. <laughs>